I'm Z Wade, the Z Wade, and Z Wade Photo, and today we're checking out the Nikkor Z DX 12 to 28 f 3.5 5.6 PZ. That's power zoom, and this is my lens. That's right, I bought this, and I'll tell you why in a second. But I want you to consider subscribing to the channel because I have decided to once again take on the task of using every single Nikon Z lens, and those videos will be coming in the future. I am making myself the number one person to come to to ask, hey, how did this lens perform? I'll be able to tell you, and I don't think you're gonna wanna miss that. We're doing it a little bit different. Normally, I do like an unboxing and a first impressions. However, whenever this arrived, I instantly took it in the Nikon Z30, which was bought as a kit used from uh, b &H in excellent condition. Uh, it went right out into the field. I did a little bit of a charge and I went straight to work, which is a positive thing to say about this lens. Now, granted, I have lots of experience with Nikon equipment and lenses in general, uh, and so I don't need something that's idiot proof to work, but this thing is uh, pretty astonishingly idiot proof. It went right to work. I didn't have to fudge with anything. It started working as soon as I got it right out of the gate. And that is a good positive thing for this lens. So yes, I didn't really have time to do like an unboxing or anything like that. And so instead I took pieces of paper and pens into the field and I made notes as I was shooting a true kind of in the field test done on the side off camera. By the way, this video is unscripted, so if it looks like I'm grasping for thoughts, I totally am. The first thing I noted is the sharpness is pretty good, and then for whatever reason, I said, uh, but it's not for photos, for me. And I guess that's true. Uh, I bought this for video, but uh, yeah, the sharpness is pretty good on this lens. Very, very good, actually. I think it looks fantastic. I don't know why I wrote pretty good, because it's just good. I also noted <laughs> that, um, at 12 millimeter, which is fantastic for talking into the camera if I decide I want to do that, at 12 millimeter, be careful if you're uh, doing somebody's face. Perfect example, if you're doing a helix around somebody with your gimbal, uh, <laughs> it's gonna look goofy if you get too close. And so their arm is going to get really big and their head is gonna be really small and then it's gonna find equilibrium and then it's gonna reverse. Their head's gonna be big and their arm is gonna be small as you come around. Just keep that in mind, okay? There's distortion at 12 millimeter. It doesn't seem to be that bad whenever I'm talking into the uh, the camera lens like this here, but if you do get too close to something, it will warp. Now, I think that looks funky and cool and fun, but your model may not think so. And then I just wrote color saturation. I think um, the, the colors do look really good, and there's also a good amount of contrast from this. This lens has a lot of good optical quality going for it. I then noted that build quality feels like crap, <laughs> but I went in and wrote a but instead of skipping. See, I, I skip lines, right? <laughs> I just wrote this button here, so it must have been an afterthought. We'll get to that in a second. And yes, the build quality does feel like crap. Now, the lens cap feels really good. It's not gonna come off on your jeans. That's pretty typical of Nikon Z lens caps. They're really good. Uh, it's made of plastic. The rear cap is made of plastic, and so is just about everything else. The lens mount is made of plastic. I think the only metal on here are the screws and the contact points, and so it does kind of feel like dookie. I may give this the worst feeling Nikon Z lens at this point as far as build quality is concerned. It doesn't feel like it's made with any kind of care. It does perform well, okay? It performs really, really well, and it weighs nothing, which makes it perfect for what I need it to do with the Nikon Z30, which also weighs nothing. But it's just a note that I made that it feels like crap, and it does. And it's not that dang expensive, so I guess it kind of makes sense. And then for the butt, I think the build quality feels like crap, but it functions well. The power zoom is really helpful for making YouTube content, yes. On the note of this is excellent for YouTube content creation, which is exactly why I bought this, I ended up with this because the one thing I liked about experimenting with a camcorder was how smooth the zooming can be. Now this obviously doesn't give me the same range that I was getting with the camcorder that I was playing around with, but what I liked about the camcorder was that power zoom, right? It was really smooth, so I can zoom in on something with the Nikon Z30 in auto ISO. I can zoom in all the way, which will be at f5.6, and I can control the speed of that power zoom. And so I set it to medium, that works great for me, and I can pull all the way back out and it's just another shot that I can get that doesn't involve me running up. That's a different looking shot whenever I run up to something and push the camera close and pull it back for that cool B-roll. 
I can also just keep this thing solid and zoom out. It's just a different look that I really liked from using a camcorder. I just didn't like the quality of the camcorders, but I can get that kind of feel of that particular shot with this lens. And that's why it's excellent for content creation. Never thought power zoom would ever be something that I needed. In fact, I don't need it for photography. I don't care at all for photography, but I don't know if I would trade it for anything now, as far as like just getting B-roll and shooting stuff behind the scenes for the YouTube channel, for you. That's pretty simple. That's all I wrote down. In general, uh, if you're doing the kind of work that I'm doing, uh, content creation, I think this is kind of a must have, but if you're just, you know, shooting regular photography, I don't really think you need this at all. I really don't think that this has a place in many people's bags unless you're specifically more on the video side of shooting things. If you're not somebody that likes taking pictures when you go on trips, but instead you like shooting video when you go on trips, then this, I guess, is for you. But that's about it. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade, and Z-Wade Photo. Stay sharp, YouTube.